Combustion technology. It powers our lives, moves our machines, pollutes our planet, and kills our people. It's a technology of death. But what if implosions, the opposite of explosions, held the answers to clean and free energy? This was the idea that inspired Austrian inventor Victor Schauberger. Victor Schauberger's motto was to observe and copy nature. He did a lot of that in the forests of Austria where he grew up. He observed beautiful meandering rivers and was inspired by the spiraling vortices within them. He saw that nature uses this powerful vortex spiral movement everywhere, from tornadoes to hurricanes, black holes, and even plant growth. It all uses this spiraling vortex movement. And this is nature's mechanism for transforming energy from one level to another. He found the spiral implosion to be a principal creative movement of the universe, and it became the core of his research and design. He saw the difference between the natural implosive suction movement and the explosive pressure movement of modern technology. Nature's inward implosion movement has a cooling, friction-reducing, consolidating effect. While modern combustion technology moves in an outward motion, it creates heat, friction, is noisy, inefficient, and destructive, and it can only lead to destruction. The implosion principles were the basis for a number of his machines, including the trout turbine. This machine was inspired by watching trout swim effortlessly upstream in a river. He used his observations to design the machine to produce energy by directing air and water through spiral-shaped pipes and transforming it into a highly energized state from which the energy could then be released. He was producing reactions at an atomic level, which is comparable to atomic fusion. He was even quoted as saying, one can make use of atomic power through the biotechnology of implosion. These implosive principles are in contrast to the destructive, explosive principles of nuclear fission. Another one of his machines was called the Repulsing. This fascinating machine was shaped like a flying saucer, which led some to think that it was the very first flying saucer. It was rumored to be able to power airships without using fuel. By creating a biological vacuum on the axis in front of it, and then using suction to pull the craft. Accurate information on the devices is hard to come by, as it was all sequestered by government forces during and after World War II. Schauberger was forced to work for the SS during World War II, and then afterwards visited America and was pressured to work on their DISC programs. He refused, and thus was forced to sign away all the rights to his patents and information. He flew back to Austria and died shortly thereafter. Victor Schauberger was warning us 80 years ago of the ecological disaster that would come of combustion technology. He warned that the Earth's ecosystems would become sick, the climate destructive, and human society would then collapse. Perhaps much of the destruction we see now could have been avoided had we listened to Schauberger and developed his ideas openly. How much of the technology exists today? When will it be disclosed in order to save humanity and the planet? Tell us what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and stay strange.